Stand by. One of my favorite things to do when I was a kid was play around in the bathroom sink. It's kind of embarrassing if I think about it. For this stem bite, I want to show you some of the cool things you can do with a glass and a bathroom sink. Fill her up. Even though I didn't realize it at the time, most of the fun I was having was playing around with air pressure. If I put this glass underwater, let a little air in, and now I lift it up, 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 up. The water stays in the glass. Isn't that awesome? I mean, why would the water be so high above the other water? But we can make it even cooler. If I leave some air and water in there and then put this little, wow, that fits perfect. Now I can lift the whole thing up out of the water. I still have some air and all my water and this cup just sitting here. The amazing thing is that if I let it go, it's shocking. It's not glued on, it's not taped on. I can pull it off, oops. I can do it with a tiny bit of water or I can do it with, <clears throat> Or I can do it with a ton of water in the cup, all the way full. So this is a testament to the tremendous power of atmospheric pressure. This water is heavy inside here, but even so, all the pressure of the air all around us is pushing up on this plate. So the air above us is pushing down so hard that the atmospheric pressure down here is large enough to actually hold up this entire column of water. It begs the question, how large of a column of water could be held up by atmospheric pressure. I've heard numbers like 20 to 25 feet thrown around, which means a column of water 25 feet tall weighs about the same as a column of air, the height of our entire atmosphere. Who knew there was so much crazy science in an ordinary bathroom sink? Stand by.